it's short and stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canada advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. Today, we are going to be getting into the what's in my bag trend. Stoner edition. Did you know that over 48 million Americans last year? Crazy, right? But have you ever thought about what essentials every should carry around in their go bag? Well, today we're covering that. So welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to be talking about the ultimate sesh bag and why it's important, not only if you're just a casual consumer or connoisseur, why it's important that you should have these items in your bag with you. Whether you're headed to a chill hangout or an epic adventure, having the right tools can make all the difference. Let's get real. We've all been there before. We've hiked. We've packed the car. We've got the snacks. We've rolled the J. Only to get there and realize, <gasps> do you have the lighter? No, I thought you had the lighter. No, you told me you had the lighter. And boom, now you're in the perfect sesh spot without a light. Whether you've left your wax tool at home, forgot the papers, or even left behind a lighter, let's go over the essentials everyone should have in their bag so you can avoid the oh no situation on your next sesh. All right, let's dig into my bag. First, I'm going to start with the exterior details. This is the tour bag by Dr. Dabber. It has two compartments, is smell proof, has a foam slip in the back and a zipper pouch in the front. I added on my lovely little penguin friend and I have my wallet and keys on a carabiner. Very important feature of the exterior of my bag. I have this in the front of my wallet in case I were to get pulled over while I'm driving around with product. This, this is from the Pop Brothers at Law. I definitely suggest you follow them on Instagram for all your tips and tricks for when you get pulled over and just dealing with law enforcement as a consuming civilian. But it says, I actually have this memorized. Why'd you pull me over? I'm not discussing my day with you. Am I detained or am I free to go? And then if they do detain you, you shut the f up and you say I'm invoking my fifth and I'm not talking unless I have a lawyer. And then in my little penguin friend, I just have a emergency gummy. I have earplugs for concerts and I have a wrap that goes over a drink for your hold to go through. And then I have an emergency gabapentin just in case if my pain flares up. But most of the time I'm reaching for the gummy if I'm in pain. And that's just accessible on the outside of my little penguin. All right, let's get into the interior, the fun stuff reach into the center console and of course we're pulling out what's this my e-rig this bag is perfect because it's padded you can just put any e-rig in there i can honestly fit two in here three if i really wanted i've put my puffco in the middle my dr dabber excess on the one side and my boost can fit on the other and i can bring three e-rigs around in this although i don't i'm really just bring one carry around the products when you're carrying around your e-rigs in your bag remember to empty the water but i'm hitting this baby dry so in true adventure fashion i'm going to do a little dry rip to kick off this video. So grab your product, grab your rigs, and let's sesh together. To start my day off on this wake and bake, I'm going to be going in on some Oleo Solventless, and it is a cross of jet fuel and grape pie. So fantastic. All right, let's get into it, guys. Now, I keep my go bag since I have ADHD. I have a closet door right by my entryway. So I just keep this bag hanging on that door, everything in it. So all I gotta do is grab my e-rig and my product and I'm ready to go for an adventure and a sesh, whatever the day may bring my way. Going in on green, ooh, cheers guys. to get into the other parts of my bag when I'm out and about and I'm like hmm I think I want to toke up I have purse 
Remember to stay tuned to the end to hear the surprise that's in the bottom of my bag. All right, let's dive into the fun stuff, the body of it. I got into the rig. The next thing we got is my trusty box, perfect for Q-tips. I have a tool, just a basic tiny tool, Q-tips, glob mops, and then I have regular Q-tips. I have a roach clip holder, which is a very, very beautiful. I have a glass tip in there, more earplugs. Tell me you get overstimulated. A custom grow for 20. Tool. I can fit so many different things for so many different purposes. This is great. All right, next on the right hand side, I have a thing of Narcan. Hot people carry Narcan. I care for my friends by carrying Narcan because that's some real shit. There's one thing you learn from this video carry Narcan and be trained in harm reduction. That completes the left side. Now we're going to the right section. Ooh. A J. So this is a rainbow roll. This is a product that I manufacture. Keep an emergency one with me. I don't know if I want to gift one to a friend, if I meet someone, if I just want to chill. And then you reach down a little more. I have a rubber funnel for filling my e-rig if I want water in it. And I don't want to make a mess. All right, reach down a little lower and we have our toker poker. It's got multi-use tools that you can use it for. Always have to have a lighter in your go bag. That is so important, so important. And lastly, you reach to the bottom, I have some Benjamin Franklin's. All right, let's go to the pockets on the outside now that we went through all the sides. It has a fun little easy slip that's accessible. I keep my sunglasses in there. I have my main medicated chapstick. Oh. An emergency dum-dum for cotton mouth. Now to the front side, I keep this adorned with all my favorite pins. I didn't see anybody else put pins on the front of theirs, but since it was all black, I just wanted to customize it and give it some fun little accessories on the exterior so you know whose it belongs to. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have one more thing that is an essential that I don't think some people think to bring, but is probably the most important. I'll tell you. One surprising thing that I always keep in my go bag that you should consider too, right in the front, I have an all-in-one kit from Blazy Susan. Let me explain. Open it up. I keep a Subtronics grading card in here. And then in here by Blazy Susan is an all-in-one rolling kit. This doubles as a rolling tray. You have your tips and your papers. This is my number one thing that it took me a while to get this kit from Blazy Susan and then to get this card, I got it from some merch from Subtronics. I just always keep it in my go bag now. It is essential. Do you wanna know how essential it is? I keep it with my, my emergency pad. We don't use tampons anymore. Very demure, very mindful. They're flat and they're small, so they go in the front pouch together. And then I just have an emergency USB-C and Android charger so I could charge my pens or my e-rigs when I'm on the go. Oh, and I forgot, can't forget a couple of Reese's. I always eat them on when I'm out. If I just need a sweet treat, if I'm, you know, get the munchies, I need something. So I keep my Reese's with me. I ate them the last time I was out, so I'm replenishing my little stock in there. This side is on a swivel, so it can never get tangled. So, oh, I absolutely love this bag. And like I said, I just keep it right by my front door. So I just have to grab my e-rig and product and I'm ready to hit the day with whatever it might bring for me. I'm ready. Let's do one more to end this. Cheers. you plays a key role in my personal experience but I want to hear from you what is something that you have in your bag that I'm missing in mine that you feel is essential I showed you mine now you gotta show me yours if you made it to the end of this video comment purse I have pause last week I uploaded a video where we can wake and bake together and I share 
why I became a medical patient of this plant. So go check that out if that's something you're curious in. And stay tuned because I'm going to be posting twice a week now. Thursdays and Saturdays, in a couple days, I will be posting my one month review of using this bad boy as my daily driver. Don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me so we can continue hanging out together. I'll see you in a couple days. Peace. And if no one told you today, I appreciate you.